I'm Sean McLean, the founder and CEO of Absci, and I'm here with Mark Papermaster, the CTO of AMD, and we're here at AMD's headquarters in Santa Clara. Mark, thanks so much for having us here today. Sean, I've been so looking forward to this discussion. So before we dive into the exciting collaboration that we have together, why don't you talk a little bit about your vision for healthcare and specifically your vision for drug discovery? Well, we're all about high performance. And when you think about high performance computing and, and where AI can play, uh, it's about acceleration of innovation and new invention. And where can that have an impact that really helps society? Well, it's exactly, Sean, where you and Absci are focused. Yeah. I think you guys have already demonstrated uh, that you can make an impact and can speed that impact through the use of AI and high performance. And so that really motivates us at AMD to collaborate with you. It drove this investment, yeah. and uh, we're really excited about what's to come. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. The, the industry, in particular in AI drug discovery, is, is progressing so fast. Yes, it's at its early stages, but it has so much potential, and we're already getting early wins on the board. If you look at what we've been able to do, we've been able to use our de novo design model to design mm -hmm. antibodies from scratch. And not only that, we're getting drugs into the clinic just this year that were designed with, with AI. We're getting those early wins on, on, on the board. And now what we're seeing is the shift in, in capital going from spending in, in the wet lab to actually spending it on compute. Uh, on these on these AI models, and and we're seeing this new paradigm where we're starting to to, to you know actually have a lab on on a chip, and this is the future, and that's why we're partnering with you because we realize that compute is so critically important to solve the the challenges we want to solve with AI in drug discovery. We want to get better uh, efficiencies on our on our training and and inference. We want to be able to solve. Uh, new complex biological applications that we see your chips being able to provide with like higher memory. And so the, the, the vision that, that, that we have uh, is, is very much aligned with your vision uh, as, as well. And so why don't we dive into Absi's collaboration with you? Why did you decide to make a $20 million investment in Absi? Well, you actually hit part of the answer just in your very comments because to do the kind of discovery you are uh, accomplishing with this uh, data and analytic and AI-driven analysis, you need a ton of computation. And you just said it, you need it to be efficient. That's what we do. Uh, we're very focused on really changing the paradigms. It's, there's not been competition in this industry. We're bringing competition, we're bringing that high performance, but we have architected to bring more memory to bear. It's gonna drive a much more efficient inference and a very competitive training. And that's exactly what you and Absci team is taking advantage of. Uh, and so that's what drove our investment is we wanted healthcare and societal impact to be uh, one of our first you know, vertically focused investments that we make in AI so that we can make a difference together and we can make a difference in society. Yeah, abs absolutely. So we've been working together for three months or so. And, and over that three months, we have been able to accomplish a lot. We've been able to take our models, three models actually, mm -hmm. and be able to show that we can run them on, on AMD chips. Uh, we've been able to show that we can get great performance on, on inference. And we're also able to, to train on, on your chips as well. And we were astonished by how quickly we were able to spin up our, our models on, on, on your chips. And you know, our, our team got really excited. I think that's what really drove some of this collaboration that, that we have is, is this innovative mindset. Can you speak a little bit about how you approach innovation and how you approach uh, collaborations to, to make them successful like the, the, the one here with Absci? Well, it's, it's really in the way that we operate. So the DNA of the company, we're built around collaboration and innovation to drive high performance. And so if you look at our, our history, so we have a, a broad portfolio with CPUs, uh, GPUs, and, and you know, uh, embedded computing uh, and gaming. So we, we have decades of experience on, on GPUs, which is what you're primarily banking on for this acceleration. And so what we found is uh, that you can run uh, a generic application uh, and get excellent performance. You take advantage of the parallelism of the GPU. But the toughest problems need a collaboration to go deeper than that. They need to really understand, you know, the root of your algorithms. Where might they be bottlenecks that if we co-innovate together, we can eliminate them and push even further the boundaries of the com computation capabilities. 
And in three months, I think we've demonstrated that the teams can readily work together. They've, they've already been uh, pushing the performance forward. And Sean, I think the future is really bright. There's lots more that we're going to do together here. Yeah, no, absolutely. I feel like you guys have the, the entrepreneurial spirit. You're, you're hungry, you're tenacious, you're, you're willing to solve uh, hard, challenging uh, problems. And, and that's what we look for in, in partners. And, and that's why we believe that this partnership is going to be uh, so successful. And if I you know, summarize what we're trying to do, at the end of the day, we're trying to get better drugs to patients faster. Mm -hmm. And we're switching from the way of doing things in the wet lab to ultimately designing drugs on, on a chip, on, on these AI models. And we need AMD to ultimately help us achieve that, being able to get you know, better training efficiencies, being able to get inference costs down, and helping us solve these complex problems that still, yet to, that still need to be solved within biotech and, and biology. And so, Mark, we're really excited about this, this partnership, and uh, the, the best is yet to come. And so with that, do you have any final thoughts? I do. I, I'm so excited that we're working together to not only advance the science, advance the uh, innovation, uh, but to give you a better economics in doing so, to speed the delivery of, of new solutions. I mean, it's really a, a super intelligence you're yeah. applying with AI that's going to speed, you know, new antibody development. Uh, you know, it's, it's in our DNA to co-innovate uh, and to push the boundaries. And so I, I'm hoping that DNA creates, uh, you know, future DNA and antibody solutions in the future through our collaboration. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Mark. It's, it's been a pleasure and really excited to uh, ultimately collaborate to get better drugs to patients. Thank you. Thank you, Sean.